Alrighty, good morning everybody. Got everything figured out. Had our first night sleeping in Moby. Worked out great. <clears throat> this little bed folds up. It folds this way and it makes a couch. And this is a little storage chest. So anyway, you flip the couch over and spread the cushions out. And I fit just right from wall to wall. Wife and I crashed in here last night and it actually worked out pretty well. I know the video I shot last night was kind of crappy because it was dark so you couldn't see anything. All right. Maiden voyage of Moby Trails. Moby's first night we're going to sleep in the van. Got the little LEDs. I should have done this earlier, but it got dark before I realized, oh hey, I got the camera here. Got our little tiki torches out. A little lamp on the picnic table. A fire going. Got our little solar lights. Little spotlights out back. So anyway, haven't ever slept in the van. Got the tent under the couch, or under the bed. Didn't feel like putting it up tonight. I wanted to test all the stuff to kind of see how well it sleeps. So, got the little book of a few DVDs, just some fun stuff. The Mummy, Pirates. Avatar, whatever. Got some Gilligan's Island, got some old classic Bugs Bunny. Got the first several, the Sean Connery, um, James Bonds, a couple Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry. It's just a little push button lights. And I put a magnet on the back of it, glued a magnet to it so we could stick them and move them. They work great, actually, but anyway. And there you go. This little DVD player just hung up there by the little rubber twisties worked great so you can lay there in bed and fall asleep watching a movie. The little lights worked great. These things, it's just a standard I don't even know, I, I don't remember where I got these, I think it was probably off Amazon. I think it takes three little batteries and Gorilla, gorilla Glue to magnet to it. It's just to press on, press off, but then it sticks to metal. So you can you can take the lights and put them anywhere. Boom. And then you've, you've got light. It's cool, they worked great. Then these work too. These got little. I got these at Harbor Freight. These are one of those that, like, if you with your coupon, you buy anything and you get a free flashlight or a free tape measure, or whatever. Blah blah blah. And there's three ways. One's a like a lantern. One's a flashlight. It's got a little hook on it so you can hang it. And then it's got a battery, a oh, magnet on it. So same thing. You can just stick it to the outside. These things are bright. These things are way super bright, almost too bright. You want to have them at your back because if you're, if they're facing you, you're not going to be able to see beyond the light. And our little perimeter lights we put up. You couldn't see these very well last night either. These are pretty standard. Just a little uh, LED solar panel multi-function ones like stay on all the time and then ones like a dim light and then it goes to high if it detects motion and then ones uh, off and it when it detects motion then it goes on <clears throat> I just put them on medium so you got a little bit of light all night and if uh, something walks in front of it or actually out here with all these ferns 
the wind blows and they go from medium to high, but that's okay. So we got a couple of those placed around the truck. And our little porta potty. Some of these little privacy changing tents. Got some cat litter, a little thing of toilet paper, and then your little Home Depot bucket with the little porta potty lid on it. Works great. It's a little small if you got a big old booty, but it works great. So we're gonna take a walk down the south moat. Just check out, check the place out a little bit. So I'm still kind of trying to figure out where. I think I figured out where I'm going to put the well, and then I might get a little, uh, I don't know, like a little storage shed, a little 10 by 16 or something, and. Um, you know, obviously to keep the gear in and stuff off season, but I could build a little bunk setup maybe, or just get some cots. I actually, right now I've got air mattresses and sleeping bags, so I mean, we're good. Throw an air mattress down on the floor, throw a sleeping bag on it, boom, you sleep in it. And it's a little more weather resistant than, a, than just a regular tent. So this kind of walks a circle around our camp. The camp's over there. I don't know if you can see it, the van's right there. The campfire. Then the driveway, it comes around. It actually comes up to here. And this is the driveway. It goes down to the road. trail so then it kind of goes down a little a little grade a little bit of a hill so we're sunken in so from the road you can't really see it There's the road. Comes up the driveway. So anyway, when you're down here from the road, you can't really, you can't really see it. I wandered out last night and you couldn't see the fire or the little spotlights. I got little spotlights, more of those solar lights. So come down the driveway. Got camp going. Fire. Talking about making some breakfast. Dogs in here chilling. What's up, Shook Meister? Who's up, babies? Who's my good girl? Who's my good girl? I know it looks kind of messy right now, but there truly is a place for everything. And when everything's in its place, there's plenty of room to sleep, move around. I had to get out, get out of the truck to pee a couple times last night. <clears throat> I could have put the little toilet just in here and peed in the truck, I suppose. But if it's not in clement weather, no need. Grill's down here. There's the grill. This is all kitchen stuff, which fits on this counter or uh, shelf. That's all bathroom stuff, toothpaste, toothbrush, soap, meds. And it all fits in there. And this is this was gonna be a sink. I was gonna put a sink in this, and the more I got thinking about it, it's like I don't really need water in the sink. These things work pretty good. Jugs with a little spout.
works awesome. Two and a half gallons. Got a toter just staples and keep my potato chips and buns and stuff in that so they don't get squashed during travel. This thing works great too. A little butane lighter. Uh, sorry, butane burner thing, single burner. So we made the coffee on so we didn't have to break the grill out and all that garbage. Anyway, blah de blah. This is where I'm thinking of putting the shed. I staked it out the other day just to kind of visualize. I want to put a well right there, a generator and a hand pump. So then this is just more, more of the same. Camp, driveway, south moat, and then this goes out to a, what I might put a garden. And there's a deer blind out here that was here when I got the place. So I haven't really done anything with that yet. But I might uh, I might tweak the deer blind a little bit. Make it a little more stable, a little more hidden. Uh, hang a net over it or something, camouflage net. I haven't decided to do it. But I could also have more. This is a nice area right here. It usually stays pretty shaded. I cleared just a little out the other day to kind of look at it. But I could put a camp here. This would be a nice place for a camp. And then it's a little farther back from the road. I haven't really decided. But if I do that, then I have to find a new place for the well. And I didn't really want to make the guys drive their rig way back in BFE woods to drill a well. And I don't really feel like hiking from the cabin to the well every day either. And then these just go out, these trails. This kind of goes out and around. And then this one. kind of goes down and over and if you follow this line far enough you get to the back corner of the property and the back goes across and then it butts up against federal land on that side So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna walk the whole property today. I just wanted to actually just wanted to show you what the bed looked like in the daytime. Let you know how it slept. Slept great, man. Slept great. I got some other videos with how I made the bed and a little more detailed what it looks like. I'm not gonna clean the whole van out right now just to show the inner workings of the fold out bed, but and I'm kind of a minimalist when it comes to the gear and uh, you know whatever camping and travel light travel fast quick and dirty I didn't really go to I didn't spend a ton of money to get a, you know ton of finishing work done I'm not living in the thing it was supposed to just be a work truck I could go to vendor shows with and if I had to spend the night at in a city of a vendor show, I could sleep in the truck. That was the idea. 30 bucks in wood and I built a bed and a couch and storage and whatever. The little solar lights, those were like, I don't even remember, 30 bucks-ish for two of them. We got like four sets of them. The picnic table, I got a Lowe's for 100 bucks. It was a kit, so I didn't even have to drill it or measure it or mess with it go buy the hardware to screw it together I just pulled it out of the box bolted it all together bam instant picnic table I don't think I shot video that day so I'm thinking food 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 got the cooler got some steaks and prats I'm thinking steaks and then I've got 
that emergency prep food. <coughs> Mashed taters. If you haven't uh, got any prep food at home, I highly recommend ordering some of these guys. Whether it's uh, doesn't matter. There's a ton of companies. I'm not even gonna seriously promote one over the other. They're all over the place. Find them on the internet. Type in emergency food. Google emergency food. <clears throat> and then research them enough to know which ones are expensive and which ones aren't as expensive. Anyway, I don't have a ton more to say today. I just wanted to show you what this looked like in the daytime because the video I shot in the dark was kind of crappy. So, we're going to cook up some food and we'll see what's up. And talk to you all later. See you.